I think we've transitioned over. We are? Yep. We're good. Yep. All right. So, hello again, everybody. It's Rico, and Whip is also still here, and now we have Pac-Man Power Ghost with us. Hello, everyone. And we are... Pac-Man and I are going to be racing Super Speed Percent, which is a really, really crazy category, but it's also really sick, so... Um, um, the, the Boomy Zoomy category. Yep. Are you gonna... Were you gonna make a save file when we start, or just begin without saving? Uh, begin without saving, yeah. Alright, let me go back to that then, so we can start at the same time. Alright, so... Okay, so... Whip, do you wanna count us down? And we'll just both press square at the same time. Okay, both ready? Uh, yep, that's yep. ready. Three, two, one... Right. So again, we have to sit through the one and a half minute cutscene. <laughs> oh, so, if you don't know this off by heart, Jesus. Yeah, the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious. So yeah, this category uses a cheat code called Super Speed, and it's actually a Game Shark code, which is why you probably saw me setting it up during the Hondo run. Where, basically, if you hold L1, Harry just like catapults forward at lightning speeds and you can control it with directions so basically this run reinforces the idea that speedrunners are cheaters but it's really cool because you get to do a lot of skips that aren't that aren't possible normally so this runs actually this run is about 20 minutes faster than normal any percent and i would say most of that is because of the skips not because of how fast harry is moving hagrid took harry to diagon alley also, I'm I'm gonna have faster loads than Pac-Man because we recently figured out how to get this working on console. So I have FDS, which was not a thing until like actually a few weeks ago. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for So the reason why the super speed cheat works is because within the game's um, storage or how the game calculates Harry's speed is basically tied to a RAM value. So by inputting a cheat code where we configure a button and which RAM value should be inserted, it basically allows us to press a button and set Harry's speed. But it also has the um, side effect that if you hold down the button without moving, it will still send Harry forward yeah, so without him doing yeah, we're going to have a dialogue skip right here. Uh, that's the mm. we, we don't respect our elders, so we're just going to run right through them. And then since we're not next to them, the cutscene just doesn't start. And then, uh, in any percent in Hundo, you probably heard us talking about a theoretical uh, tutorial skip. Tutorial skip is not theoretical in super speed. It is real. It is very, very real. Yes. There's also some really well, funny well, side effects of doing super speed and cutscenes, like going. Harry just kind of makes out with the wall there. <laughs> and that was tutorial skip. <laughs> so, no. you can super speed into corners, and with like proper movement, it will actually clip you up into a higher part of the room, which I think Pac Man was the one who figured out like how to do that consistently, at least recently. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how much of a thing that was before, because. Super Speed is um, Super Speed's been around for a while, but I only just recently started running it when it was doable on console. I believe that was the only time it was used during tutorial skip. It wasn't used anywhere else. Never... Yeah, Purple knew about it, and he decided not to tell anyone. I guess. <laughs> yes, what <Sport> strat hoarding? <laughs> yeah, Super Speed lets you gain control in some cutscenes, so we actually got to leave before Neville was finished talking to us. So another theoretical skip that is actually possible in super speed is Snape skip, which we will be doing now. Mr. Potter, a sloth. And Snape's really rude and calls Mr. Potter a sloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the proper ankle to pass Snape this time. Yeah. So, uh... Early Four Eyes is in this run, but it's like it's not as terrible as it is it was in any percent, but it's still pretty bad, so this might take a couple yeah. of tries. 
It's definitely or, still a wrong killer. Or, or it can take one. I, I switched controllers. Like I mentioned this on 100%. I switched controllers to one that has better analog, and I haven't messed up early 4-Eyes since then. So I might have been part of it. So yeah, uh, we're in 4-Eyes, four, 4 minutes into the run. And there's a lot going on. I'm about to skip the Peeves cutscene also. <laughs> so what happens when you enter 4-Eyes early is the game basically decides, oh, you have completed everything up until 4-Eyes, meaning that it gives you all the spells and flippers. Yeah, so we have Flopendo, we have Wingardium, Leviosa, and we have Incendio, without ever intending any classes. Oh, I didn't skip Peeves. Yeah, okay, so. The one thing that doesn't give you automatically is the uh, first person mode. But that only matters in Devil's Snare, and it's really not a huge time loss because of super speed. So. Lost an interesting graph, Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, I stuck the jump up. Oh, well, I hit the that's, turtle, so that's useful. That's fine. I'm magically now at the block, which is good. You are magically one with the block now. Yes. There's some spots where I won't use super speed just because it's a little terrifying to do so. Will you be using it on the blue eye cutscene? No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh really? A, I use it there. Yeah, but if you if you die before the blue eye cutscene ends, then that's true. Yeah. You you, you have to go have back to and fight. You have to go back and kill the blue eye again. Yeah, it's important to keep track of your health if you're gonna do it. Well, sometimes you can still get you can still even get a thing where you're infinitely falling and then you're just guaranteed to die before the cutscene ends. Which is why I'm just gonna not do it. I've only had that happen once to me, interestingly that enough. That happened a lot, so it's enough for me to not want to do it. So this is Night Skip. Give me five dollars, Redneck. Or give the stream five dollars, rather. <laughs> I, I did it, so now you have to. So we have two questions. Um, is Death Abuse even faster in this? Oh. Yes. Yes. Because... When you death abuse in four eyes, it takes you back to the beginning, but it still killed all the eyes, and it's faster than backtracking back to the beginning. This is the only and, place where it's useful, though. And second question, um, someone is asking if um, Pac-Man is Australia or New Zealand. Yes, I'm Australian. So it's always quite we hard. Have Sorry. What? You go. Um, one thing we haven't mentioned is you've seen them clip into walls, and it's basically extremely easy to clip inside walls using super. Yeah. Thank you. It's not that great. It's just my voice. So we see Hermione, who we haven't met, go into the upper castle. Um. And there's no music for some reason, I don't know why. Wingardium Leviosa. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna start the Malfoy fight, and Wingardium even though Malfoy's Leviosa. not here right now, he's gonna magically show up when the door opens because it has to hit somebody, I guess. No, he's still with the boys, Neville and Ron in uh, yeah. the tutorial. Oh, we didn't even mention that when you do tutorial skip, Malfoy's just still standing up there. Or sitting up there. Yeah. So you just like casually ignore him as you leave the library. So, we still have to fight Malfoy because we, need, we still need to go outside. In the old route, pre-Quidditch abuse, you actually didn't fight him though, because you would do the upper castle. I believe. I watched an old route one second a long time ago, and I think I remember that being a thing. So, the reason why you clip up in Forbidden Forest, even without super speed, is because you manipulate the camera, so Harry is walking into the wall. And by walking into the wall, uh, much like you see Harry going into the wall in super speed, um, if you're moving a direction while inside a wall, it will actually send you up on that level. I completely messed up the second phase on that boy. So I'm losing, Ouch. I'm losing a fair bit of time here. Like, I haven't got hit, but I definitely messed up the quick hit. 
So I missed I messed up the first cycle, which you never normally do. Somehow. I'll lose a little bit of time here, but it won't be big, hopefully. I think the nerves are really getting to me. Okay, I messed up the third cycle a little bit also, but it's not really bad to mess this one up. I think it's three seconds on the third phase. Harry does not want to pick these things up, and I wish he would. Yeah, if you're too early on mid animation, when you're on mid throwing animation, it will not count. Okay, now I'm actually losing a lot of time in Malfoy. This is tragic. Yeah, I'm seeing it. <laughs> I need him to pick these up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stuffed okay, up second phase as well. Oh, I'm losing so oh. much time, dude. It's okay, I have two minutes to save in Voldemort, or like a minute and a half. For clarification, I have the record in this category, and the run has a one and a half minute death in Voldemort. So <laughs> it was low fifty. It was really, really low fifty three pace before that happened. So also that thing I mentioned in the Hundo run about Harry being in the uh, cutscene for the Great Hall. <laughs> oh yes. Zoomy, zoomy. Meep meep. Harry is so excited to see the house point our glasses. He really, really wanted to talk to Dumbledore, and to his disappointment, nobody is in the Great Hall except for him. That's actually interesting. Why is nobody else in the Great Hall when they count the count the point? Oh. It's like Harry is the only student at Hogwarts. Are in the lead on but actually, zoom. <laughs> zoom. Zoom me, zoom me. So here is where we would normally talk to Hagrid, but he doesn't show up. I don't know if that's because the game thinks we've already talked to him or because we didn't pick up the letter and that triggers Hagrid showing up. I'm not sure. Mm. But the trade-off is that the trade-off is that we don't have to go to Herbology, which is nice. Also, you are about to see an alternate version of Fire Seed Skip. Yeah. Everybody complains. Which by about the it. way. Which so, by the way is only done once, as far as I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody complains about fire seed skip, so my suggestion is to just do fire seed skip skip. There you are. Which we'll be doing now. Fire seed skip skip. Skip skip. Yeah. Oh come on. See? Oh. Uh, I don't know why everybody complains about it. It's so on, easy. It just phase through a gate. Don't worry about it. Yeah. This is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch. Like you got really close, up close and personal with Ron. Yeah. So don't bother super speeding there because you have to wait for Neville. You have to, the lo the next scene doesn't load until Neville reaches a certain spot. So. So super speed on the broom is generally really really risky. The exception is in this fight. And then even when even when you do it, Malfoy still kind of rubber bands. So, mm. but it's so funny it, seeing them go it's so still fast. It's still useful because it's really easy to like double bash them with super speed. You can still so, go outside the map, but it's pretty you, uncommon. Yeah, you have you have much better control there than you do anywhere else on the broom. So slush brain skip technic is technically free when you use super speed, but it's you not done in this category because yeah. we already completed four. Hours. Yeah, if we ever do, like if we ever make uh, super speed all wizard cards, it's used there, and it's very very easy. I've seen Red Hot do it. He literally just walks onto the hedge without really setting up the camera. So we do have Quidditch abuse here, which means, despite having super speed, the next section is going to be a little dull. Okay, I got lost a little bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can actually... I think you can skip all three of those dialogues, but you have, to, you have to control it properly, so it's a little weird, but it's still faster than um, talking to all three of them. Also, he will be using a, or they will be using a super speed tech to um, skip past the iron gate, or the cutscene where Run opens the. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, for now we're gonna be doing. 
Quidditch abuse, which means we're gonna have approximately eight minutes of Quidditch and then like eleven minutes of Gringotts or however long it takes. Around nine minutes. Yeah. This tragically has not changed from any percent, but we get to it a lot sooner. So, like skipping all of the Charms corridor is actually pretty huge. It makes it, at least personally for me, a lot less draining to reset this category compared to any of like the like standard categories in HP1. Just because like going through tutorial and then the flying lesson and then charms like over and over can get very draining when you're resetting and then this category just you're immediately into like all the crazy stuff. So. So the glitch you saw Pac-Man get with done a run opening the door and Harry moving through it, the ba game can basically not trigger the load because of run. So it poops you back out of the door and you have to re-enter. Yeah, that can, that can also happen in Gringotts and I haven't figured out a way to dodge it so you have to just wait for the girl to open the door and close it. You have to be a true gentleman. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> even though she's never seen inside Green Gods, which makes me wonder if she's even real. <laughs> the ghost of Green Gods. She's actually a goblin in disguise. Oh. <laughs> Casts polymorph. Wow, that's beautiful. My favorite is when you super speed in cutscenes, but Harry just just gets really antsy in in place. <laughs> <laughs> What's that disease called where you have, you know, constant like Alzheimer's? Uh, activity? Alzheimer's is something completely different. I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. Yeah. So I didn't want to wait what? for Ron to open the door, so I just phased through it. Uh. And then we save and quit. When you go for early snitch grab, then it doesn't work. Rip. So now we'll be doing Quidditch abuse. Ah, oh, there you go. I believe this um, was mentioned. I was told that this was mentioned in any percent, but uh, I recently figured out that after you load for the save and quit, you can take the memory card out and you save time at the end of the two Quidditch matches. So I, did, I just did that. Mm. The thing I was asking was which disease is it where um, you're like, with have really empty legs or whatever? Rest of Flag Syndrome? Someone suggests ADHD, which I guess is a possible I one. Mean, I have restless leg syndrome, but I don't have ADHD. Mm. Like, I have a thing yeah. where, where if, if I'm not, if I'm sitting down and my foot isn't laying like flat on the floor, my leg shakes. Hmm. I see. So this is Quidditch abuse, much like you saw in the any percent run. Um, for some reason, the game doesn't differentiate the in-game Ravenclaw match with the Ravenclaw match in Quidditch League. So whatever progress you've made up until Ravenclaw or after Ravenclaw match will get transferred over if you don't save the game at any point. Yeah. So basically, We'll finish the Ravenclaw Quidditch match, which you unlock by doing Hufflepuff first, which is why we're playing Hufflepuff again. And then when we go back into the story mode uh, and go to the open entrance of the Quidditch pitch, Hagrid will be there talking about how Neville or Neville, how Norbert is sick, the dragon that we didn't hatch. So, and then it'll take you right to Diagon Alley. He got tired of waiting for us, so he got the fire seats himself. <laughs> and then just assume that Norbert was sick. Neville might also be sick, but we just don't know because he's not in the game really that much. Um, he has, I mean, he might be sick. He might be a vampire since he doesn't like staring into the sun. <laughs> Always looking downwards. And running away from Gargoyle Gate, which I can't even blame him for. <laughs> running towards yeah. Malfoy as well. 
I also got scared of that place in my childhood. Oh, same. That was my that was my nightmare fuel boss fight. Mm. I think Peeps scared me more than Gargoyle Gate, but that's really a big memory. The two things that terrified me the most in this game as a kid were the Gargoyle Gate fight and the second troll in the underground chambers. Oh yeah, troll every time. Yeah, that's, I just... That still scares me. I think I had to sit behind the couch and let my parents do it for me. Oh, I was also terrified of Forbidden Corridor, but that's just because I don't like stealth-based missions. <laughs> yeah. Like, every every time I play a game that's, like, not a stealth game and it just adds stealth into it, I get so uneasy. Just, the anxiety. Especially, especially when it's the kind of... When it's the type of stealth where if you get caught once, you automatically, like, lose. That I especially don't like. If it's something where, like, if you get caught, it just becomes harder, then it's like, ah, uh, whatever. But it's like, if you get caught, you you die or you have to restart. That, that really, really annoys me <laughs> and makes me scared, so... so so when I replayed the PC HP one, where the stealth is like way more difficult, I was like super anxious. I was like nervous on the PC stealth section, but I really like it. Yeah, so. it's it's much better done from like a design point, I feel. But it's so terrifying because you have to pay attention to so much more. Yeah. But it's definitely a very well done section, in my opinion. Definitely. Also, the spiders in 6th gen HP 2, um, I could not get past it as a kid because I saw Aragog and basically quit out the game. That's fair. <laughs> he was golden by like 3 seconds in Ravenclaw. Oh, nice. Nice. That's pretty big. Yeah. My Ravenclaw didn't have good splits, honestly, so. Must have missed at least one ring. Probably. Because I know each ring is about 2.2 seconds. Actually, I think I missed the snitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that could add to the time loss as well. So it's really important to not super speed until this cutscene is done panning through Diagon Alley because you can get stuck on Hagrid and then the cutscene just keeps playing over and over and over until he's done talking to you. We need three. Go to Gringo. Put him off to the leaky. Ah, I was late. I was trying to make Hagrid say he's off to the leak, but I mean say he's off to the leaky. So yeah, I mean, we, have, we, have to, we have to wait on this girl to enter Gringotts. As far as I know. Like, every time I've tried to get past her just spits me back out because she opens the door right after mm. okay, so this is Gringotts it's exactly the same as it was in the last run except way less terrifying we don't have to collect gems this time so I don't suppose there are any donations, Arnie, because now would be a really open time to read. Yeah, def definitely the most opportune time to do it. Also, super speed is a little wonky on waxy surfaces, so we'll only use it in like a couple spots. The only time I really use it is in the Sickles collection, going up the hill. Yeah, like I the use, slope. I use it there, and then I use it on the door cut scene where, like, the lock opens because if you position right, Harry will automatically open the door. Good afternoon. Sorry. Oh, yeah. The cross button. It's like it's a little finicky for Kanad, but it's like super easy for Sickle and Galleon. And if anything, it just puts you right in front of the door, so it saves time regardless. Okay, my girl will not move until I open the door. That's great. Yeah, if you actually get too far ahead of her, she won't move until you either open the door or you're like right next to her or something. Like it's a specific mm. position like right behind her where she starts moving. I'm also in just instinctively getting the bonus gems. <laughs> well, at least I'm a true gentleman. Gentleman. 
opening the door for her hand instead of her opening it. That's good. That's my service for the day. If you ever run Ladies. Yeah. If you ever run Ladies, um, well, sorry, you go first, ahead. You first. <laughs> I was just gonna say, Ladies swoon at your incredible feet. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, if you're, uh, if you're ever, if you ever run Hundo and then run another category, it's just better to still collect most of the bonus gems just for practice. It's just important to skip one, at least one, because if you collect every bonus gem, you get the wizard card automatically, and that's slower, so. So, while we're at it, super speed, um, this is the one instance where it does not work. Oh yeah, super which speed does nothing against the gods, which... It's both a shame, but also I'm not sure how well I'd be, be able to control it. Well, in the old route, you have to do troll skip with super speed. So you had to like memorize all like the paths to jump across and stuff. I imagine it'd be that difficulty level. <laughs> the old route was interesting. It wasn't until, I think, a couple of months ago, I found a different route, which followed the any percent route pretty religiously. Yeah, because the old one didn't do Quidditch abuse, did it? Uh, oh, uh, no. Because if it did, it wouldn't have had the troll chase, so... No, because you end up doing Ravenclaw first, so you don't have to do the trigger for Quidditch abuse. Mm, yeah. Quidditch abuse definitely seems like it's faster than doing a lot of the upper castle, though. Yep. It's a shame that we can't skip Transfiguration, because we still need that spell to get up to uh, Peeves, even if we wanted to go down that route. Yeah, yeah there's no corona there, sadly. Mm. Unless we can somehow find a way to, like, super speed in the corner, and then, like, I don't know, like, gain momentum in there and, like, jump over. Ah. I think there has to be a ledge upstairs before um, it will trigger a jump or something along the Yeah. Let's pick up these papers. In order to enter your bank vault, you must collect the proper paperwork that we have scattered all across the bank floor. <laughs> and then you must go on this crazy, wild, like, roller coaster in order to get your money. And grab the coins in midair. Yeah, the Wizarding World's a really weird, weird place. At least in the PS1 universe. Nice, uh, skip there, Pac-Man. It was a bit rough. My movement in, um, collecting the papers is just not that great. I'm relatively new to running this game, so... Yeah, same. I feel like my, my paper collecting is, like, average. I mean, you still got the cutscene skip, so... And I don't think Rico got it, so... Yeah, I didn't get it. Oh, that's... that's like a small time save. Yeah, I should get... Galleon one should be easy to get. Hmm. Hashtag it's something mean. Mean. Not mean. Mean. <laughs> I didn't realize we are going to do some maths today. Some meth or some math? Whoa! The wacky tobacky? What? <laughs> we have a really weird Danish word for it. Oh, really? I would say it, but nobody would understand what I mean, so... Oof. 
I don't think there's a single Danish person in here or in the stream. It's a rip. Yeah, the galleon cutscene, like, it basically just hands it to you. I don't think I've ever missed that one. The sickle and cannot can be a little awkward. I just didn't get it either time. The other goblin steering is the cross button. Be careful, Mr. Did a bonus. I can't believe the Dunkering got twice in one day. Uh, I remember going for World Record in the old days and I would literally stream for five hours just doing Green Gods every single run or something. Once you've done that you can talk about uh, or you can complain about Green Gods once you've done that. Well, I didn't complain, I just said I can't believe I'm doing it. Oh, in that sense. My mistake, though. When are we making complete co collectibles a category? That way I can collect the beans in peace. I'd actually run that. Once I probably would too. Cause like, like I said during the Honda race, I was like, as cool as it is that I shaved six minutes off a category, I feel like I became less interested in it when I found all that. <laughs> hmm. I think we can come up with a better name, though. True, one hundred percent. Max percent. I just, I don't, just don't like uh, max percent because max percent implies you're collecting literally everything, and that's not the idea I had with it. We already had that argument in my stream a couple of days ago. <laughs> I would probably call it like complete story or complete campaign. I'll just call it true 100% because I think that's what they truly intended for 100%. Intended 100%. Mm. I don't like the name intended 100%. Yeah, no, I, I, was, I was absolutely, I was absolutely joking. I would not call okay, it that. Okay, good. Because <laughs> at that point you're like, you're implying that you know exactly what the developers had in mind. True 100% means like we, we kind of have an idea but we can't confirm. Yeah, at least until we going. speak uh, to that developer we've been trying to get in contact with. Yeah. I love going upside down in the first phase of um, the, uh, what is it? I forget the coin. Galvan. Yeah. We talk about how this goes off the rails at points. Like, who thought this was safe for an 11 year old? Oh, I just loaded Galleons also. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> JK Rowling thought it was appropriate. I don't think JK Rowling developed this game. Well, she still mentioned as a special thanks. I mean, so. Naughty Dog has mentioned as a special thanks in all the GBA Crash Bandicoot games. I don't think it means much. Oh, really? Yeah. Turtle Lords. <laughs> my, my favorite uh, level in Crash Bandicoot 2. It's like an old meme from the HP community. I don't remember what it was or how the meme spawned, but it happened, so. Oh boy, the toad is upstairs. Oh, there it is. So the advantage of super speed percent is that you can actually move really quickly. Yeah, it makes the RNG here a little less annoying. Still nice to get perfect. Oh I'm just gonna hope for perfect RNG. God frogs. I see you. My my to my uh, toad split in my PB is 45 seconds. <sighs> yeah. Damn. Actual god frog. The God Frogger. Frogger C. I tend to have an obsession with frogs. Dude, frogs are This great. game. Ah, and uh, okay. Ocarina of Time, Frogs 2 check in Randomizer. Oh, jeez. What a meme. Oh, hi, Peacock. I've never seen it do that. <laughs> oh. I wonder what it did. Oh, it's I entered... done that to me. Yeah, I entered the door and the Peacock just immediately ran behind me. Oh. I've seen that happen once in the practice file. <laughs> uh, hello? Mm. 
I have had not terrible peacocks lately, which I appreciate because peacock usually screws me over. I mean, the advantage of super speed is you can catch up to the peacock. Yeah, but I didn't really need it there either. I used it like once. Mm. Okay, so there was one time in the Owl Emporium where I actually managed to skip the first cutscene and I have no idea how I did it. Excellent. Well, I almost Whoa. got it there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Harry, like, walked away and then, like, decided to go back and talk to him because I guess he's a nice guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the lead maze, but I also have better loads, so that's at least part of it. Because I'm playing on PS2. I wonder how much it actually saves fastest speed on um, super speed. Um, there's not too many less loads. I don't know how much it saves in any percent, but if I was like roughly estimating compared to like crash games, I would say it's probably like a minute to a minute and a half. Maybe more, I'm not sure. But I, I, would, I think I, my I would... old... Go ahead. I think my old 80% route before I did FDS, um, that was like a 140-ish, and then I went down to a 126. But I know a lot of new tech was discovered by that time, so yeah, I don't think it's an exact indicator. I would roughly guess probably a minute and a half is a good ballpark. Well done. Yeah. Actually, fun story, I remember Red Hot testing FDS and he said loads were random. And then a few years later someone asked, has anyone ever tested FDS? And Red Hot said, yeah, I think they're random. And I was like, oh, I guess I'll test them just to see if it's true. And then it turned out to be faster by a huge... Also, I did a thing in Hagrid's hut where uh, you, you super speed into the wall and Hagrid actually follows Harry's position. So then he spends the rest of the cutscene looking away from uh, Norbert. He just wanted to hide his crying as this dragon became better. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Because <laughs> he's like he's saying how like Norbert will want to like go away to be with other dragons eventually. So he's like really sad and crying. Malfoy his trap. My favorite thing to do with super speed in Hagrid's hut is only done in all wizard cards, where you can actually super speed Harry into the fireplace. Actually, I shared a. I shared a picture of that in uh, the server a few days ago, and I called it "Roasted Wizard." <laughs> you can still do it after um, after Forbidden Forest. Uh, no, you actually do not want to super speed there. Oh right, it's yeah. it's when you do all the wizard cards. I forgot. Right, so this is why you don't ever need Incendio except for Devil Snare. In super speed, you just f cut through all the walls. Oh, hello, troll. I wanted to take the Pufflepod with me. <laughs> the puffle pod that I completely grabbed on purpose. Wow, I'm really bad at this. Bridge skip skip is impossible. Oh my god. Which side are you trying to do it from? Right. I'm just. My yeah. angle's really bad. There we go. Let me get this frog. Hello, fire crab again. Yeah, you don't want to super speed during the flute because Harry actually can't move in any direction in that room. <laughs> and if mm. you're too away from the too far away from the owl, you actually cannot play the flute, so you soft lock. Yes. I found that out the hard way. The difference between loads for PS1 and PS2 is about the same, if not a little more than PS2 versus MU. I think MU has better loads than PS1, but I'm not entirely sure. At the very least PS1 lags, mm. so can you hello please attack me and your loads are um dependent on the version can sometimes be faster than fda yeah. so usually that's an inaccurate emulator yeah which means they're not allowed mm. also loading screens themselves on ps2 with fast disk speed they're about half length compared to a ps So, if that loading screen takes 6 seconds on PS1, it will take 3 seconds on the PS2. And that adds up per loading screen. Come on. There we go. So here's another one of my favorite, uh... Super speed in cutscenes.
Go get him, Harry. <laughs> oh. Man, that scenery so intimidating. He was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. This makes me wonder if Harry is actually in the book cutscenes. Oh, that's a good turtle. I've tried to see, but like you just can't see him at all if he is there. Even if you activate it uh, as it zooms in. Yeah. I just haven't been able to see him. I've tried to. Um, oh, that was a close shot. I've tried it in like the very oh. first one at the beginning of the game, also. Oh, you've got. Hmm. Some, in fact, try out. Accidentally triggered incendio on the second wall. Literally cannot play the flute today. Out like a lot, but you'd best be. I've been doing some reading about Nick. Now Harry is just <laughs> seething with anger that he has to talk to Ron and Hermione right now. If it's here, we have to fuck. <laughs> Come on, Ron. I suppose. My favorite is when it just zooms in and Harry's face is just there shaking. <laughs> oh, well, I did that on accident. Harry is vibing. Harry is very vibing. Oh, well. So this is where the run basically goes back to being any percent, just with super speed. Yeah. There's a lot of skips in the underground chambers, at least, but yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't even mean to yeah. do that. I know, it's it's essentially any percent powered with super speed and more skips. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we're gonna see a really nice Abbey Force skip now. Also, the camera's really kind and follows Harry wherever we put him, so... Oh dang, I've never noticed that. <laughs> there we go. So there is a corner cut and cutscene skip you can do at the start of Forbidden Corridor, and we'll see if I get it, but it's re it's like the most annoying one by far. Mm. Anytime you want to super speed into a bookcase, it tends to be really finicky. Yeah, I'm just not, not going to bother well, with now. it. Students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things... No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that... Back to Dumbledore has ordered that nose. Yep. Alright, so Forbidden Corridor actually for me is like one of the scariest parts of the run because of super speed. Yeah, there are things. Tight things. Um, no, so. <laughs> So, is it only theoretical that you can skip past the uh, bookcase cutscene? At the current moment, it's theoretical. I've tried, but there's no uh, corners. No. Where work. Yeah, there's no corners to work with that you can get to without triggering the cutscene. So. Interesting enough, if you set the super speed to really, really high, you can somehow phase through walls and then go into the next section. So it does, it plays that cutscene and it skips that whole room and you can do that for each room. But that would require you to edit the code, which wouldn't be allowed. Alright, so this is, uh, this is probably my least favorite room. That's why. I did that in my PV also, so. I did not get caught. Good job, lad. Nice work. Solid effort. Amazing. Gold stuff for you, Eddie. Very stylish. Just like me. Perfection. Nice. 
Oh, I got it. Expensive wand. <laughs> Swish and flick. Look how that says that. It's Levi Osa. Am I losing time already? Well, you did fall down once. So... Oh, I, I did also watch the cutscene, which I don't do in my PV. My PV was so nice until Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, how far behind are you? About a minute. I'm not sure. So I can still PB by like 30 seconds if everything else goes well. The house point power okay. Are slowly filling. Everything else has to go well though. Ravenclaw. Oh, also, uh, there are no house points in this cutscene except for Slytherin. Slytherin. Because we just didn't collect any house points at all. That's the last cutscene. Wow, all well, the other houses are bad. Yeah, basically. The race for the house cup is heating up. Gaffy Taffy says, let's go Rico. And the super speed is dope, and he is correct on both of those sentences. <laughs> let's go Rico apparently is a sentence that has uh, fact to it. <laughs> <laughs> also, so this is Fluffy Skip, because we don't feel like putting him to sleep. There's, there are a bunch of skips in this, uh, in this part that are mm -hmm. not in any other category. The one part that changes Let's is Devil's Snare. Yeah. yeah, so Devil's Snare, because we don't have first person mode, you have to actually like hit the vines normally. Which is not really too bad because of super speed. But it's a little, it's different. I know it. Oh, I'm so glad. Try and figure out, try not to get you. So in the last room you saw Pac-Man be in, um, if you accidentally are too far on the right, um, Filch will catch you somehow. Yes. We only know because of Redneck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I skipped that dialogue. Oh, it's so you can just skip the the last cutscene in Double Snare by super speeding. You line up yourself to be in front of the door and then you just super speed and Harry just jumps over it and goes into the door. I assume oh. you can't use super speed to glitch through the game. I tried. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great if you could. Also, it would be possible to use super speed on uh, the key, but uh, Rico has a little story to tell about. Yeah, um, if you super speed on any part, any any broom section that's not the Malfoy 2 fight, uh, you kind of just go really fast and lose control and you can go out of bounds, and it's uh, not fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, also, to I, really... I... Here, go ahead. Uh, the only way to really control yourself in those sections, if you input a direction straight after you do super speed, yeah, you even, can even, have some. Yeah. Even even when I've done that though, I've still I've flown right through a ring and had it not register as getting it, so I just don't bother at all. It's really just not worth it. Mm. Also, Mace is asking, how far are you guys from your PB? I am about a minute ten behind, which means I can PB by about thirty if everything else goes well. Uh, I'm not, I'm not looking at the time right now, but I'm probably like two minutes ahead of my PB. Oh. Maybe not with Devil Snare. Ugh. Okay, well I'm just gonna lose time in key, I guess. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't even know how I did Wow. That. Yeah. I can't kill Devil Snare today. So, um, Rico, is that a, that's a six or eight second time lock? It was about nine, so yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we just leave Ron in the dust, because he's a nerd. 
and uh, <laughs> somehow he still manages to beat us into the chess room and lose to all the chess pieces. So this is chess okay, skip. This one's a little here. finicky, and if you do it like really wrong, you can soft block, but it's pretty uncommon, so hopefully that doesn't happen. It does take some lineup, though, unlike every other skip, which is like super easy. <laughs> And whip, your friends told you that it takes three days to beat chess. <laughs> That's the best story I've ever told, I think. Alright, so uh, there's a couple of stuff you can do in the troll skips. I skip cutscenes, but it's a little finicky, so I'm gonna focus. No key, stay away. I'm on one HP in the key section. This is a good. <laughs> That's terrifying. So, Black Smoke actually appears as a trail on the room if you're like one hit away from dying. Hmm. At first, I thought it was an emulator thing, but someone provided evidence that it's not. So, it's a little nice detail though. That key got too close. Ah. I've only ever been hit by the keys once, but when I did, I was on one health. <laughs> no way! I got hit. Oh. <sighs> That's sad. Close to the end as well. Yeah. <sighs> so, that was troll cutscene skip, but it also lets us do potion skip. So hopefully I don't take forever to do this one. Oh my god, really? Okay. If I didn't stuff up Devil Snare, I would have been fine. But... Alright, so we're going into Voldemort. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about Cody skipping this. I'm gonna grab these frogs, though, just to be safe. Oh, Cody skip is super hard on this version. Yeah. Oh, yes. My splits call it Cody skip skip. <laughs> I also call Fire Seed skip, Fire Seed skip skip. Oh, it's so difficult, I can't believe I got it. Wow. So I'm a oh, minute gem. 13 behind, which means I can PB by a little less than 30. Because I have a min- or actually no, I have a minute and a half to save here, so I can PB by a little less than 20. Damn, I wish I had gotten that slowly skip in my, uh, yeah. race. I'm gonna focus so I can get fast Voldy. I was a little scared I was too late on the last hit, but I got it. So the rest of it should be fine. As long as I follow, so, as long um, as I follow Maze's advice and just don't die. Should be too hard. Mm, here's hoping. So you're gonna see a funny um, little side effect of super speed percent on the last phase of all the. I love how my gold Voldemort is 257 and my PB's Voldemort is Okay, chess. Alright, I should be in third phase now. Yep. Yup. <laughs> so, Voldemort's uh, kind of in the wrong spot. <laughs> this is better than the one I normally get. He's just like really off to the side. 
<laughs> you just, if one. you do it properly, he just completely turns around and faces the mirror, but I did it a little late, so... <laughs> He's just oh, to the so left. Time and... is. Yeah, time's gonna come up. Uh, I have two more hits, so... Get running on time. Alright, one more hit and then it's time. Time. Nice. Woo! GG. 54-17. That's what it is on my end. So, <sighs> so that's world record? Yep, that's world record by 18 seconds. Good talk. Everyone was pretty messy in the middle, but like that was a really hard run to compare against because, like I said, my the one the PB I had before was insanely good. I just died in Voldemort, but it was like 53 OX pace before that. Hmm. Yeah, my Dumb my sum of best in this is 5150 though, and it can probably still go down more. So 51, I think, is probably po possible. It might take someone better though. The stone had been destroyed. I hope when and if I get a new console, I'll be running it, but we'll see. This category is like really, really sick though. So it's like, it probably gets got ridden off a little bit, both because it used to be MU only, and then it also is like a Game Shark category, but it is really, really sick. Like the, there's so much stuff you can do that you can't normally do in any other category, so I do think it's really neat. Yeah, definitely. There we go. That was a nice potion skip. Skip Hermione's dialogue. Yeah. Well, she skips a little finicky, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I find if you get an angle, like, like a, I don't know, like a 45 degree angle with the camera, you can get it consistently. However, continued Dumbledore. In recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's well, so sure be right. nerve and outstanding courage, I award ah, No soft lock, points. please. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out Mountain Troll. Uh, that was fun. I had fun as well. Your PB is uh, 102, right, Pac-Man? Or have you PB'd since, like, practicing? Uh, hold on. Okay. Oh, shit. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I just soft lock. That's great. Oh, did you do an extra? You hit? did. Yeah. You soft lock. Uh, no, the Voldy, the Voldy rave. Yeah, that's fine. Nah, I lost my PB um, because I died in keys. Mm -hmm. What is your? What's your PB? It's uh two hours, two minutes, and I think like twenty four. I'm gonna be one hour and two minutes. Yeah, I was hour. wondering if you PB'd it. I was wondering if you PB'd at all during, like, when you were prepping, and just hadn't uploaded it. I wasn't sure. Nah. Um. You should still be able to PB if you, if the if Voldemort goes well this time, because the Vol Voldemort fight's only three minutes long, so you can get a one flat. Oh. Or a one one. It was a bit finicky before, because, like, I missed one of the hits, but I was still in the section.
Oh, so the soft block in Voldemort is uh, during fast Voldy, you can actually hit Voldemort more than six times. And if yeah. you do, if you do, then like he starts to. I don't know what he exactly tries to do, but it like visually it looks like you hit him mid attack, and then it just makes it so you can no longer damage him. Like he'll still stagger when you hit him, but his health bar won't go down, and you're just trapped in the fight. I actually don't think he staggers at all, from what I remember. Oh, does he not? No. no. I thought he did. Regardless, the fight becomes impossible. You have to mm. die. Um. You can also get something similar in the transition to the third phase that we call the Voldy Rave. Where, like... He's like charging an attack, so there's like sparkles and like glowiness around him, but you can still finish the fight. But the moment the screen fades out, the game uh, crashes or like soft locks or something. And in any percent, that doesn't matter because timing ends when Voldemort is killed or defeated, I guess, because he doesn't actually die. Uh, but in 100%, it's a run killer because <laughs> <laughs> there's the Slytherin Quidditch match afterwards. So, uh, yeah, I'll let the uh, Pac-Man finish up, and then I'll have something to add. Actually, while he's finishing up, I'm gonna show off the blurry code. Oh, nice. Which means I have to find it. HP1, PS1. Square to energy. So oh, I consider... I considered doing the run with this cheat on, but I didn't want to hurt your guys' eyes, and I figured it would hurt your guys' eyes because it hurts my eyes. So. 101.02. That's PB. Nice. GG. So yeah, this is blurry mode. This, this is really, really fitting for super speed, but it gets painful to look at after about 30 minutes. Let's go. Oh, on. God. Especially, like, it actually really hurts during, like, Quidditch and Gringotts because you're staring at the same thing just moving forward. But, like, it's it's really, really hilarious and it just fits super speed so well. Yeah. That is so horrible. <laughs> yeah. No. I did it as, like, a joke. And then I was like, I don't want to do this ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that might have been my PB, like my old PB where I did that. I don't remember. Ugh. Let me check. So the thing I wanted to add is that um, while Voldemort is screaming oof over and over on the last hit, um, sometimes he will finish off by saying die, Potter. Yeah. yeah. Over and over again. I haven't heard that in so long. I don't know why. Like, the and... number of runs I've completed in prepping for, like, Potterthon, and I have not heard him say die, Potter, once. One time, I think it was Wingo said that uh, he said "Die Potter" into the book cutscene over and over again. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, that was super speed percent fun done by Rico and Pac-Man. Yeah, you all should. Uh, you should. Yeah, I would actually really recommend learning this. Um, mm. All it takes is a game shark. The code is public. Um, and then if you. If you can't get like an actual game shark, you can emulate it. But it's a really sick category. I definitely recommend it. So yeah. Um, what is next? Is a uh, HP two right? HP two bingo with many people. Oh baby. Ooh. Um, take care, guys, and yeah, we'll uh, see you around. Yep. Okay. Thanks for watching. Catches later.